aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of, of course, Red or War. This time, we're gonna look, of course, upon Hail, which was chosen by you guys as the third best weather condition this generation. Hail is not the best kind of weather when it comes to what it can do for a team. It does give buffs, which basically is that you do a small amount of damage to your Pokemon on the field if you're not an Ice type, which is a good thing. That means the only Ice types are immune to the buff that comes through Hail. And of course, we do allow for, of course, a 100% hits on Blizzard, which is good, which is a very big perk for it. Having that said, doesn't breeze any kind of attack, of course, with Ice damage in mind, which is definitely something to keep tabs on. And of course, Hail was actually somewhat obscure. Generation 4, Abomasum was very, very alone with that in mind and made it kind of an issue Pokemon, but still not necessarily a good one due to, of course, this typing. And then, of course, after that, in Generation 6, we got Aurorus and, of course, Mega Abomasum could set up Hail again. And it actually wasn't until Generation 7 where we got Vanillax, now with a new, of course, ability of, of course, the Hail in mind, and so, of course, went for an Alolan Nine Tails. So, for quite some time, it was a rare weather condition to set in motion. So, snow warning, definitely super rare, and it wasn't actually until this generation where it actually surpasses the lives of, of course, sun when it comes to the amount of Pokemon that can set, of course, snow warning in motion. So, with that said, let's go over the Pokemon that does possibly benefit, of course, from hail, and there really aren't that many. Should be said, I'm not going to go with Snowcloak, though I could mention Snowcloak is, of course, um, while, of course, you are inhaled, you get a 10% raise in your evasion. But Snow Body or Ice Body was the most common ability, or actually the only one until Generation 7, which actually was a bit of beneficial. So the ones that get there are Dugon, Glalie, uh, Wall Rain, Red Eyes as a hidden ability, uh, Glaceon, Vanillox got it, and of course, Avalug. Nice, but of course, it works like leftovers, and you get, of course, a bit of a recovery. But they really weren't that great of an ability, mainly because the only one of, of course, you're getting extra HP was like the Wall Rain and Avalog. And um, while it does benefit them, they're still can necessarily use it. They won't actually raise their survivability all that much. So it was an niche at best, and I'm glad it, they had something. But it wasn't until, of course, Generation 7 where we got. Probably an ability that's going to matter for quite some time. And that was the Slush Rush. And it's a very rare ability at this point. Sandslash and Beatrix are the only one that gets it. Sandslash is at base 65 and of course Beatrix is base 50 speed. Not the best ones and I definitely would have seen of course Sandslash getting the same kind of treatment as Excadrill really again of course a brace to at least 80. Uh, mainly because of course being able to have speed necessarily Pokemon. Having that said, these two Pokemons are, of course, primary sweepers with that in mind. They have a massive damage output, of course, Beatty with, of course, base 130. Definitely enforces a massive damage output naturally, though it just gets Swift Squim, which one just has to, of course, make that question. Is it a better sw Rain Sweeper or Ice Sweeper? But it can be both, and that is generally dangerous. And yeah, just this Rush ability definitely made, I do believe, at least, Hail bit more tolerable in this kind of match because that meant, of course, that we got a lot of other things going outside of you know, the possible moves to learn for this generation. And of course, at the vote, you guys actually almost with 80% victory, Alolan Ninetales is the best setter of Hail, and for good reasons. And I'm also going to boil this down to what it's able to do. Now, one should mention that one thing that was introduced outside of when it looks, and of course, Alolan Ninetales as Hail setter was, of course, Aurora Veal. And it might actually matter quite a lot, and we're going to go over, of course, the reason why you guys voted the way you did. The reason one would consider Lola Ninetales the best out of these is because of its speed tier. It's basically the same kind of way that it was with Charizard Y. Ninetales has 109 speed. That's a big deal. For, of course, Generation 6, Abomasnow was the fastest between Aurora's and, of course, Abomasnow itself, with 60 base speed. That is not that impressive. Now, it should be noted that actually Vanillux should be considered the second best hail setter mainly because of its speed and special attack. This thing actually hurts and should definitely not be forgotten with that in mind. Best stated, Alolan Ninetales is definitely the best one. It comes down to it's a good supporter, it can set up nasty plus, you can use Specs Blizzard, 
and of course Aurora Veal, which is such a great move, which works of course like a reflect and light screen for five turns or eight turns if you are likely. Uh, if hail is in motion, now this Aurora Veal will continue even with of course the hail sets. So it becomes a very very defensive, dangerous Pokemon rather easily. And of course, with his new typing of a fairy eyes, it actually has a great stab in motion. Now, having that said, um, Aurora is not bad. Definitely a dangerous Pokemon due to his high special attack and refrigerate. I'm not going to mention that, of course, the spam of a Blizzard. And uh, as far as a Bomb Snow go, it's a good mixed attacker. There's really nothing to it. It still is a very dangerous Mon. But Alolan Ninthal just plays a different ball game. It made Hail valuable. It made it itself a big threat by actually being able to spam Blister from the get go. With a decent special attack, I would say, you know, above, you know, around the average area. But it is a speed and is able to set up Nasty Plus and he's not necessarily easily KO that makes it really, really dangerous. And kind of reason it has to be considered the best setter in motion. Now, with that said, of course, what do you guys think? Um, there are a lot. There aren't really that much to talk about when it comes to Hail, as you guys so, who saw. There aren't really that many abilities, so it all comes down to which one can spam Blister best. And a lot of Ninetales might just pull that off, but I really want to know what you guys think. So with that said, thank you of course for watching this video, and I hope it was informative enough. And next time we're gonna like look at of course the second placement and wonder which one could it be, Rain or Sand. I'm pretty sure that answer is pretty obvious. Having that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.